Hello everybody, it's Last Raider. I am back uh, again with another video today. Yeah, I, I shoved that one out, but I seen that from the quartering, and I was like, "Damn, I I don't have much reach, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there as far as I can get it." So. If you got spammed in that, I am very sorry that spammed you. And if I have deleted y'all's comment, um, I'm, I'm, and you had no malicious intent, I am very sorry. I am just, just put more words in it. Don't ask me to be friends. Don't ask me to be partners. Like I said, just, just comment on the video being good and add a couple of things in there. I like this video, put a fuck Captain Cummings in here. Anyway, we're going to be talking about Captain Cummings. Right now, I've got a, a, um, uh, Apparently, there's another one of these assholes in the bottom. I didn't see that. I'm going to have to get rid of that comment as well. I don't know. Whoever liked that, man, I am so sorry for you right now. Anyway, I got uh, Clint Stoker over here from Sweet, Sweet Cast. Good video. They got the wrong police department. What he's referring to is uh, Captain Cummings recently trying to, you know, screw over Peter Samedi. He's put him in a very impossible situation, which in my opinion shows... Uh, exactly the morality that Captain Cummings has, which is if he wants something, he's he's going to damn near kill somebody to get it. And I don't mean that any... It, I'm not being hyperbolic in that. But getting over here to the 10 cent story, which is where Captain Cummings is running his channel. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, problems of having a... Problems of using your phone to, to make uh, videos. So what's happening here is Phil Cummings is been trying to build a channel with no video content. Now, the problem here with no video content is that without the video content, YouTube doesn't know what your channel is about, <clears throat> and therefore, it doesn't put you in recommended feeds. Uh, I've got some videos that's put me in the recommended feed. I've got videos. I, I still get comments from people on videos that I did way on back last year. But the problem with Captain Cummings is, in order to be relevant, <clears throat> the man has to go out and... Stir up controversy where he gets people involved with his channel and he gets subscribers by starting a whole bunch of crap and then telling them because he deletes everything on his channel, mind you. Everything's getting deleted because that's how disposable Captain Cummings content is. It's not worth staying loaded up onto YouTube. I've Everyone says that it's it's Captain Cummings that, that's doing it. I honestly think YouTube has a trash meter and they're like, yep, this is filth. Kick it off of YouTube. And I think that's why he doesn't have anything on his YouTube channel. But anyway, Cummings, uh, like I said, he's sitting up there. He's quite proud of the fact that he somehow managed to get 200 subscribers with no video content, which seems to be his goal. It's, some people, they make these stupid goals in life that they think are impressive, and in reality, it's not. It's sort of the same concept of some guy running out there going, hey, look, everybody, I can jack off 300 times. Everyone's like, yeah, if, you, if, if you've got enough hentai, man, you can jack off way more than that, uh, especially in one day. But anywho, <laughs> dirty jokes aside, dirty jokes aside, Cam Cummings uh, has been, like, as you see right here on the screen, be sure to subscribe to the Ten Cent Story YouTube channel for the research conclusion to the Pete Samedi saga. This has been up for four days now, almost a week. Um, Captain Cummings is not going to come out with any damning evidence. All right, and I'm going to call Captain Cummings on this right now. You're lying to your audience. You're not coming out with any evidence. Ah, uh, you've what you've basically done is you've put Peter Samet your you're doing a twofold thing. One, you're trying to trick people into subscribing to your channel as if you've got something on it, which you don't have anything on your channel. Your channel is a blank is basically a blank slate. <clears throat> okay? It doesn't have any content. Therefore, according to YouTube, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you got, it doesn't exist. It's and probably you're going to plateau out here pretty soon because people are going to find out how you are. But You've also done something even more sinister. And this is the this is the part, man, where if I was Peter Samedi, I'd probably be hunting you down for a lawsuit. Okay? By saying that Peter Samedi faked his swatting, 
and you not putting out the the proof of it, which you're not going to. I mean, I've already I've already showed where Captain or uh, not Captain Cummings, where Comic Book Hut has gone out there, and he's the one that started this nonsense with information that we don't even know exists. That he had so, so secret is this information that Comic Book Hut does not have the authority to look at it. Okay. He doesn't have the authority to look at it. But then he kind of gives the tell-off of how this thing's going down. Of, Well, you know, I'm not going to dox him. I'm not going to dox him. But we want him to bring out information so that Peter Samedi doxes himself. If he doesn't bring the information out, then uh, he, faked the, he faked the swatting. This, this is witch trial mentality right here coming out of Captain Cummings, okay? This is, uh, we'll tie the woman's hands together and throw her into the river. If she floats, she's a witch. If she sinks and drowns, she's not a witch. It's like, you're going to get burned to the stake if you somehow manage to survive. But then if you, if you just give in and prove, and just give them the proof that they want, you're going to drown anyway. Okay? So this is the position that Peter Semetti is in right now that Captain Cummings is specifically putting him in. Which is basically a witch, which is basically witch trial evidence. It's it's the same thing you'd see in a witch trial, okay? Peter Samedi comes out and doxes himself with the information proving that he was swatted, possibly opening himself up to more swattings by nefarious people, and pi- quite possibly getting himself killed, which Captain Cummings is okay with Peter Samedi dying. All right? Because you started this nonsense. I've already proven that you have nothing, okay? Your evidence to even throw this investigation into, into uh, to, for you to initiate this investigation is bullshit, and you don't even have it. You haven't even seen it. I'd be willing to bet, because this information does not exist. But if Peter Samedi does nothing, then you trash his reputation, and you also his reputation is tied to his business, which could affect his income, and it could affect him financially. It could really hurt him. So he's in a catch-22 at the moment. He's going to drown or be burned. If, if this is what Captain Cummings... Captain Cummings is not asking for proof. You're not asking for evidence. You're giving Peter Samedi an ultimatum. You're either going to drown... It's either death by fire or death by water. Your choice, Peter. That's where this has ultimately come down to. And Captain Cummings, like I said, he is going to cash in on someone else's misery. I would say some choice words about you, Cummings, but I think I've already proven what kind of uh, slimy snake you already are. All right? This is how you're building your channel, and it's it's flat-out disgusting. There's nothing Comicsgate has done that has been this bad. Comicsgate has never brought a person... Mind you, this is the second time Peter Smitty has been put in a situation where he's almost died. Okay, you will be putting him in the third one. The first time he almost committed suicide. The second time he was swatted. This time we got Phil Cummins giving him an ultimatum that might end up getting him killed. At the very least, he'll take so much. He could take so much financial damage his business could go under. All because you have Ethan derangement syndrome. You're mentally ill at the moment, and you don't care if someone dies. You don't. You don't care if Peter Smitty could possibly get killed, and this just shows. Frankly, I'm ashamed someone like you could even make it in the armed forces. Because you don't have the temperament for it. I don't I don't think you I, I'm wondering just where you were stationed at because they probably realized, yeah, this person's a because the military does all this stuff. You're probably some one of those guys that they pulled off of a boat, put you on doing training stuff because you're too damn unpredictable. And probably one of those guys is going to go out there and shoot a whole bunch of people up for no reason. Because, I mean, you obviously, like I said in one of my videos before, you don't have an understanding of Hearts and Minds campaign. That's the whole thing about Comics Gate or Anti Comics Gate. They have no Hearts and Minds campaign strategy whatsoever. It's just attack, cap, attack Comics Gate and somehow you're going to profit from it. And that's just not how it's going to work. Anyway, folks, I am the last Raider. Comment on uh, how you feel about Captain Cummings. If nothing else, just give me a fuck coming. Just give me a fuck Phil Cummings in the comments. All right, that'll help. That'll help the channel out. And if that bumps us up, also uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. If you like the content, give me a like. Anyway, I am the last Raider. 
Stay safe. Stay frosty. Keep your heads on a swivel. Don't be friends with anybody. Don't partner with no one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.